Hello and welcome into clinical chemistry lectures. Uh, in this lectures, I will talk about the lipoprotein as a structure, classification, and method of estimation. This lecture is presented by Dr. Zuhair. So, in this lecture, I will talking about the lipids and lipoprotein according to the chemistry and physiology. Uh, all uh, lipids and lipoproteins are organic substances, insoluble in water, but soluble in organic solvent. Human plasma lipids are cholesterol, triglyceride, phospholipids, and non-stratified uh, fatty acid. All of these lipids uh, can be transported uh, into the plasma. I also needed a carrier or type of proteins. So, because uh, the all of lipids are uh, heterophilic, that by mean uh, water insoluble. So, the lipids uh, also need uh, to bind uh, protein so as to be as easy transported in uh, plasma. So, transport it uh, in the form of lipoproteins by mean lipids combined with proteins. Uh, in the liver to form lipoproteins. Uh, 60 to 70 percent uh, by low density lipoprotein LDL cholesterol and uh, 20 to 35 percent by high density lipoproteins HDL cholesterol and uh, 5 to 12 percent by very low density lipoprotein VLDL. So this is the classification and types of uh, plasma lipoproteins by mean lipids binding to uh, protein. Uh, here, uh, uh, all uh, lipoproteins uh, or apoproteins, here is a protein, a portion of lipoprotein, apolipoprotein A, is uh, the major uh, protein of uh, HDL cholesterol. So these uh, apolipoproteins are proteins that uh, help uh, leave it uh, to be moved and uh, transport it into the plasma. So all lipoproteins can be classified as uh, apolipoprotein A, B, C, and D. So, uh, in each uh, class A have a subclasses A1, A2, and C, C1, C2. So, uh, here these uh, uh, proteins have uh, a carrier function uh, to carry that uh, lipids and transport it into the plasma. Uh, also, the apolipoprotein protein B is the major uh, protein of HDL protein by means uh, B protein mainly or the most abundant type of uh, proteins that uh, attach to LDL and carrier LDL cholesterol and the apolipoprotein A is the most abundant or uh, the A is, has a responsibility to carry HDL cholesterol in plasma. Apolipoprotein C is the major protein of uh, VLDL and kinomicrons and a minor protein of HDL and LDL by means that uh, have a, a little concentration or in a little concentration protein present in HDL and LDL cholesterol but uh, apolipoprotein protein C have a uh, major transported function of uh, triglycerides uh, this triglyceride also included in uh, VLDL and chylomicron Lipids and lipoproteins, according to the chemistry, we are mentioning is organic substance cannot be transported uh, in a plasma unless it is binding to the protein. So, uh, this uh, table shows us uh, the type of lipid and function and transported by. In column 1, type uh, of lipid, triglyceride and cholesterol. Uh, here, the triglyceride, variously have a function, primary form of uh, lipid storage, as we mentioned previously, uh, transported by kinomicron as exogenous triglyceride and transported by VLDL as endogenous.
Cholesterol, it is important in cellular physiology and precursor of steroid hormones and also transport it uh, into the plasma by the LDL cholesterol that by mean LDL that carry cholesterol to the cells and HDL cholesterol that uh, carry out of cholesterol uh, out of the cells. Lipoprotein classes according to uh, 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 classes here according to the ultra centrifugation or by uh, means that the density of this lipoprotein can be classified into four classes based on uh, particle size and chemical composition flotation characteristic and electrophoretic mobility so these all the characteristic uh, used to classify uh, the uh, lipoproteins into four classes more uh, protein higher density and more lipid lower density that by mean uh, each particle of this uh, each have uh, a high proteins that might mean uh, become high density and uh, which type is more lipids become low density uh, class one uh, here uh, kylomicron according to their density uh, vldl very low density lipoprotein ldl uh, low density lipoprotein and hdl uh, by mean high density lipoprotein so these classes according to the ultra centrifugation and also based on the particle size uh, of uh, these uh, lipoproteins uh, also kind of microns uh, transported uh, which kind of type of uh, lipids exogenous uh, triglyceride uh, that I mean dietary triglyceride uh, VLDL uh, very low density lipoprotein also carry the endogenous triglyceride uh, into the circulation LDL cholesterol that uh, by mean carry cholesterol to the cells that from uh, liver to the uh, other uh, tissues such as heart uh, HDL also uh, is a good type of cholesterol that uh, carry cholesterol out of cells from cells uh, to the liver this uh, <coughs> is a symbol structure of uh, lipoproteins here in this uh, structure the lipoproteins which contain uh, protein and uh, cholesterol ester cholesterol triglyceride and phospholipid so is this is the composition of uh, each lipoproteins have a uh, component that share in one lipoproteins such as cholesterol, ester cholesterol, cholesterol and triglyceride plus phospholipid uh, according to the size and density is also classified into the uh, chylomicrons which have a large uh, particle size uh, but uh, have uh, a low uh, density that by mean uh, become firstly uh, into the ultra centrifugation because uh, have a low density but have a large particles due to high uh, proteins content uh, number two uh, very low density live proteins and uh, intermediate density live proteins low density live protein and the last uh, one is the HDL cholesterol high density uh, lipoprotein uh, this also uh, particles in sequencing according to their uh, particle size and uh, density classification of lipoproteins uh, here uh, lipoprotein with high lipid content will have low density that by mean also the high lipid uh, uh, become uh, a flotate or flotation onto the surface of solution or fluid so that uh, high uh, lipoproteins that contain uh, lipids also have a low density 
by mean also flotation onto the surface of fluid. Larger size and uh, so uh, float on centrifugation. Those with high protein content sediment easily and have a compact size and have a high density. General structure of live proteins, as I mentioned previously, contain protein, cholesterol, cholesterol ester, triglyceride, and phospholipid. But uh, this uh, a component uh, present in each one uh, in a variety concentration, not in uh, the same concentration. Some uh, apolipoproteins are uh, integrated and cannot be removed, where other can be freely transferred uh, to the other lipoprotein. So, uh, specimen collection and handling. Which uh, in laboratory type of specimen uh, preferable and the precaution of sample collection to do a lipid profile. Also, the specimen collection and handling need the patient to be fasting uh, not less than 8 hours, between 8 to 12 hours fast required. Non-fasting may be a cause of uh, turbidity due to formation or due to layer of kinomicrons uh, following uh, refrigeration and abnormal finding in fasting specimen. Uh, triglyceride also increase in uh, patient non-fasting or uh, in uh, non-fasting samples uh, because the triglyceride also affected by the last uh, meal or last uh, diet. Uh, Levitz uh, method or methodology of Levitz. Uh, cholesterol also estimated by the enzymatic method and this uh, method known as the cholesterol oxidase and have replaced it uh, colorimetric method. Dry slide also estimated by enzymatic method is the best one involved in uh, liberation of uh, glycerol by lipase or using a lipase enzyme as a reagent in the enzymatic method. So the lipase uh, reacted with triglyceride and liberated uh, glycerol and free fatty acid which uh, glycerol uh, also uh, contamination from the stubbers of uh, evacuation tube or uh, ingestion of glycerol coated medication can be caused falsely uh, increased results. So uh, we have uh, to stop any medication have uh, uh, or can be affected uh, the glycerol uh, measurement or triglyceride measurement, especially that uh, treatment containing uh, glycerol or coated medication with glycerol. HDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol directly or homogeneous assay. Uh, directly measurement that by mean can be measured directly or uh, homogeneous. Uh, indirect that by mean uh, the sample uh, needs some treatment before it is uh, measured or before it is estimation. So HDL cholesterol have uh, two methods, direct method or homogeneous method and indirect method. Uh, in uh, the direct or homogeneous assay, measure it of HDL without pretreatment of sample. And in direct uh, remove, in direct method, remove or should be removed the kind of micron VLDL and LDL by precipitation and analyze supernatin for HDL cholesterol. Uh, LDL cholesterol methodology also we have two type of method direct method by meaning homogeneous assay and indirect method uh, in uh, the direct method or homogeneous assay uh, measure the LDL cholesterol without uh, sample treatment uh, five uh, the other method for uh, measuring of uh, lipids is uh, electrophoresis uh, depend on the electrical uh, field or movement of particles in electrical field and the other uh, method for uh, proteins or live proteins uh, estimation or uh, measure it such as ultra centrifugation uh, also a reference uh, method is the ultra centrifugation by means that separate live protein by their 
rate of uh, flotation using uh, ultra centrifugation so which uh, one of this method is the reference method for Leibitz measurement it is uh, preferable ultra centrifugation uh, Fried weld method of Fried weld method for uh, the calculation of LDL and very low density uh, lipoprotein uh, cholesterol can be used uh, when triglyceride or cannot be used when triglyceride is more than 400 milligram. Uh, also, there is a calculation formula can help us to, to calculate the LDL cholesterol and VLDL cholesterol. And this formula is also known as the Friedwald method. But uh, this uh, Friedwald method cannot be applied if the triglyceride is more than 400 mg per deciliter. How we can apply the Friedwald method? Also uh, tell us the total cholesterol, uh, measure it and then measure it LDL cholesterol uh, and HDL cholesterol. So when uh, one of these is missing, like uh, LDL cholesterol, also equal total cholesterol minus HDL cholesterol minus triglyceride over 5. Uh, by using this formula can be calculated LDL cholesterol. Again, when uh, LDL cholesterol is missing, can be calculated uh, by this formula. But we have uh, firstly to measure uh, total uh, cholesterol and HDL cholesterol and triglyceride and also LDL cholesterol can be calculated uh, VLDL cholesterol can be calculated by I uh, divided the triglyceride uh, over 5 uh, another classification of live protein as I mentioned it, by the electrophoresis and the electrophoresis lipoprotein may be separated according to their electrophoretic properties into alpha, pre, beta, beta, and broad beta lipoprotein. As here, also alpha lipoprotein, pre beta, and beta lipoprotein, and broad beta lipoprotein. The classification of live protein uh, based on electrical for or electrophoretic properties uh, such as HDL R alpha, uh, VLDL pre beta, LDL beta, and inter uh, intermediate density live protein are a prot beta live protein. Uh, free fatty acid and albumin complex, although not alive proteins in an important pivot uh, fraction in serum and it is a fast moving fraction kylomicrons remain at the orient since uh, they have a more lipid content vldl uh, with less protein content uh, than ldl move faster than ldl this is due to uh, to nature of uh, epoprotein uh, present. Here, uh, this uh, table show us uh, the separation according to the ultra centrifugation by mean according to the particle uh, size and density. And this is the classification here uh, of uh, HDL, LDL, intermediate density live protein, very low density live protein, and chylomicron. And this is uh, the density in gram per milli. This is the diameter of this live protein for each one. And this is uh, the percentage of protein content in each uh, type of live protein and phospholipid plus triglyceride content for each HDL. For example, HDL cholesterol have uh, density uh, 1.063 to 1.21 and have a diameter. Uh, 5 to 15 diameter nanometer by means is very small diameter uh, this uh, HDL uh, cholesterol have a uh, uh, protein percentage content as 33 and phospholipid about uh, 29 and contain triglyceride uh, or uh, glycerol about 
80 percent so uh, this example of chyle micron have a high uh, density uh, proteins so low density protein uh, but have a high or a large diameter from uh, 100 to 500 where compared to the HDL high density live protein so the chyle micron have a larger diameter from 100 to 500 nanometer and contain less protein when compared to the HDL cholesterol and also contain a low phospholipid and contain a high amount of triglyceride when compared to the uh, other lipoprotein as uh, the lipid content increase uh, here in these particles of lipoprotein the density decrease and size increase uh, that is why kinomicron are the last dense but biggest in size while HDL are a risk of uh, uh, so uh, when uh, while the HDL are rich of uh, protein hence most dense but small in size so uh, this is uh, the end of this lecture uh, I hope or I wish uh, to be uh, uh, easy classify this and uh, discuss the classification of phospholipid according to the uh, ultra centrifugation uh, electrophoresis and uh, method of estimation thank you very much and i will see you in the next lecture